Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another live. Um, but yeah, I got my nose done last night, so I wanted to get on here and show you guys that it's nine I got and everything. I made bad choices. So I'll probably just go back this week, however, just take the polish off of these and then put on what I really want. <laughs> so at first, like I told you guys, I wanted to do this like pink color, right? So, either I was going to do these at home, but then I'm like, no, that's too much trouble. So, I went into the nail salon. And what I did was I called her real quick. And I'm like, if I bring in my own tips, were you still able to do them? And she was like, yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, I took in my tips and she did my nails. And, um, and she's like, okay, go pick a color. So I'm like, okay, well, I am thinking of this like glittery stuff on top. And she's like, I know you mean like that clear glitter that you use like alone on nails. I'm like, yeah, but I want it on a top for like a top, top on top of there. And she's like, okay. So I went in and I found a black color. I actually have a black color in here. Where is it? All in the bottom. Okay, here we go. Um, and here's the black, which sees match actual black because this is almost the same black they had in there. And when the same brand, but they sell black everywhere. They sell black everywhere. So this was number 412 at my local store. I bought this at, and I like them. But now I'm thinking to myself, why didn't I just get the pink? Mm, these look so gaudy. Mm. And if you get this on your skin, it's like so noticeable. I ain't got it on my skin a lot because when she was working, I was sitting there. And I couldn't keep my hands still. And then I was like putting my fingers at one time. And then she went to the work again and she put the brush there and my finger freaked out and it's like, and the brush is fucking just colored all over my skin and she couldn't get it up before it dried. And then she got some nail polish and we were trying to go around it and she couldn't get in there. And I'm like, don't even worry about it, girl. So I know with, with a little bit of scratching, all this nail polish will come off. So yeah. So anyway, then I knocked my finger straight on the right of the car in the car door. My nail polish was still wet and it got on my skin or one. Then Mm. Number two. So now my finger got so puffy, and now there's a lot of pus coming out of my finger. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna go to the doctor later. About that, maybe. I think I can do it myself. Though, I'm just gonna put a band aid on it. I know what he'll say. Well, for me to fix your finger, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to take the nail off. So we're gonna have to soak it off. I'm like, no, bitch. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> anyway, so that was a nail design that I got, but <laughs> not my favorite. Um, what I wanted was this, like that pink, or I was just like keeping these clear. She used clear tips in there because I brought in my own tips and they even had clear tips. But we used these clear tips last night. I was going to wait till night, tomorrow night to get them finished, but I just got them today or last night. But we use these clear stilettos, which are so pretty. But this block was a pain in the ass. 
It was really bothering her. I could tell. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> So, I mean, I like them, but I just think that I'm going to keep them clear next time. So, anyway, they aren't my favorite tips, but they can do. They're pretty good. So, anywho. But that's all I want to do is hop on here and show you guys these. Um, I have another package that's going to be coming today. Um, or else tomorrow. But let me check the shipping information of it. Okay, so it's coming by UPS, and this was my grandma's phone case. Why is it the wrong tracking number? I just checked it earlier. And it said it was me coming today. So order order today. Um and that includes my red bling diamond phone or no iPhone X wallet case with i got extra diamond and then i got my grandma she i don't know what she ordered it was a wallet case for iphone x access so she got um a wallet case too I don't think that would be in the tracking number. Oh, I got it, guys. There we go. So in transit, um, yeah, by the end of day today. So I'm going to add two people on this order, me and my grandma. Okay, done. I want to send updates. Unforeseen events or dates, shipment is delivered, current status. Notify me, no, I don't need to notify me if there's problems any updates, close. I should have a text now saying that I just signed up for it. Yeah. Okay. Package received for sort by destination UPS Mail Innovations Facility, Bridgeport, New Jersey, United States, as of 12 17 2019 0528. If I stop to cancel messages. And then if I click on there, it takes me right in. It says in transit, delivery today by end of the day. So. I got that under control. <sighs> Woo. It's been a long week. I need some coffee. I have things I gotta do today. Oh my God. So I'm gonna do something I did yesterday. What else is going to be on my logs here? Like more important stuff or things I'm excited for or any of that. So 
I'm so excited for my wallet cases. Today is when they're gonna come. So by the end of day, today. Um, then we are going to be doing a, um, unboxing of my phone case on here. Um, but it might not be a perfect unboxing because they might come together in the same package and my grandma's going to want hers right away because she's dying to have it the same as I kind of did for my nails was yesterday. Um, the same way I am for anything I order, I'm just so dead happy to have it right in my fingers. Um, she wants hers because her whole phone's ripping. I bought one from Best Buy for like 40 or 50 bucks and I gave it to her and Whenever she opens it. <sighs> oh my god. The little area, the crease is like all just like ripped. <laughs> like I'm like, I'm not even kidding. And it's premium leather too. She's been using it for a while. But still, it shouldn't work that fast. It was awful fast, but she shouldn't even use her phone too often. It's weird. Anyway. And then we are also Wednesday, so that's tomorrow. Why well, a gym today? A gym meeting. And my virtual feeling on that is, I hate them, <laughs> and they're every Tuesday and Thursday. But luckily, tomorrow is my last day for all my meetings. Then I have async days until Saturday, which means no gym meetings, no career meetings. So anyway, <sighs> so that's that. And then I have, of course, Thursday and Friday. Async days, and then I have it Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday again, Monday again, Tuesday again. Wednesday, no, okay, Tuesday again, so no school, no meetings for me, and no teaching, teaching, and no offices open. And then over break on December 25th, we have Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Then Um, January 1st, or hold on, let's go to December 31st, New Year's Eve, and we got to go to the store, pick up some of my non-alcoholic wine, that tastes just like wine, but it's not alcoholic, and then pick up some of... Real wine for the rest of my family. And then January 1st is, of course, New Year. New me. Not really. 
So I found this one page on Facebook, and I wanted to share it real quick. I think it will give it a laugh. I'm really ugly this morning, but look at this. I'm going to type it in chat as well. I forget everything that it said, but it said something like, New Year, uh, here we go for this New Year, New Me shit. Let me find it. It's on my page. <laughs> Here we go. It's almost time for the new year, new me bullshit. I like to ensure everyone that I will remain the same lovable asshole that I've always been. So, it's a frog, and it says, it's almost time for this new year, new me bullshit. I like to, um, I like to, it's your everyone, but I will be the same. Lovable asshole I've always been. Oh my god. Eyes are watering. Then I saw this. Tesla police vehicle ran out of power during a car chase. And I posted, we'll charge it. Is the cop that dumb? They go at least 250 miles full. I think more. There ain't no way the car chase was more than 250 miles. Then I saw this. Okay. Um, I don't know what age I'll call this. It's not only really that bad. But look at this. Climate Claw is going to town. <laughs> mm, my God. Okay. Then I found these of you guys. I'm going to make them this recipe. It's Almond Joy Cookies. So uh, we should go to our Facebook post sometime. So one cup butter, 11 half cups of white sugar, 11 half cups of brown sugar, four eggs, three teaspoons of vanilla, four and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, five cups of chocolate chips, two cups of sweetened coconut, two cups of chopped almonds. Directions. Preheat oven to 375, lightly grease cookie sheets. Combine dry ingredients, set aside. In a large bowl, cream the butter and sugars together, beating the eggs one at a time, stir in the vanilla, stir in the dry ingredients until well mixed, so stir in the chocolate chips, coconuts, and almonds. Drop by rounded tablespoonfuls onto the prepared cookie sheets. Bake for 8 to 10 minutes, cool on baking sheet for 5 minutes before removing to a wire rack to cool completely. And then I also found this, crock pot bacon cheeseburger tater tot casserole recipe. And I know that I have not have tried not to eat so much meat in the past. So I went and I got veggie burgers, which are like burgers that have veggie in them. And this will work fine with veggie too. It is so good. It's the same. I'm not really going vegan, but it's just not having so much meat because it's bad for my skin. Okay, and you want to ground one pound of ground hamburger meat or veggie burger meat, six pieces of bacon, one diced onion, one tea, minced garlic, one teaspoon. I don't know what the hell that means. Just put in some garlic. A half cup of flour, one bag of frozen tater tots, one cup of milk, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, dash of Tabasco. That's optional. Well, it doesn't say it's optional, but I'm making it optional because I would never put hot sauce in mine. Ew. Grated cheese. Well, I have cups of grated cheese. Pack of frozen veggie. A pack of frozen frozen veggies. Eight ounce container of sour cream or cream cheese. One another tea. One tea butter and salt and pepper. And then you into a skillet. Add meat, bacon, onions, garlic, and salty. Then add all-purpose flour to the thick to thicken the mixture. Add milk and Worcestershire and hot sauce. Then remove them from the heat and add grated cheddar cheese, frozen mixed vegetables, and sour cream or cream cheese. 
Then line your crock pot with a cooking spray or butter. Place a bottom layer of tater tots in the crock pot and add the meat mixture on top. Then cook on low for three and a half hours. In the last 10 minutes, add another layer of tater tots at the top and sprinkle grated cheese over the top and then, and then melt it and serve it. So, and it looks like this. Okay, I will do one more thing on here. I don't know if it will be a recipe or not. Here we go. So I was actually going to purchase this, but did not have it in white, I don't think. But this Christmas tree puts itself up, and it's an actual Christmas miracle. So guys, look. I do have to decorate it, but it puts itself up with a freaking remote. I was this close to buying it at checkout. Someone comment, nothing like a real Christmas tree. Ew. They like, ew, or, no. Okay, I have to do this one because I cannot forget about it. Cheese cake, stuffed chocolate chip cookies. Guys, it looks so good. So last recipe. Yields 24, prep time is 10 minutes, and a whole total time is one hour. For the cookies, you'll need two and a half sticks of unsalted butter. You'll need one cup of brown sugar, a half cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two large eggs, two and three fourth cup of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, three fourth teaspoon of salt, and two cups of semi sweet chocolate chips. Any chocolate chips will work. Um, for cream cheese filling, you'll need cream cheese at 12 ounces cream cheese. You'll need a half cup of powdered sugar and a pinch of salt. I've used that recipe before. It's vanilla, powdered sugar, and cream cheese all mixed together. And then you put it on top of strawberries. Try it for yourself. It's so good. That's the same thing you'll need, but just a pinch of salt instead of the vanilla. Then you need to preheat your oven to 375 and line a large baking sheet of parchment paper. I never do that. I always just put tons of grease on the top, and that way it never sticks. Make cheesecake filling. Combine cream cheese, powdered sugar, and salt in a small bowl. Mix well until mixture is smooth. Cover with plaster, plastic wrap and refrigerate until slightly firm, about 30 minutes. Make a cookie dough. Using an electric mixer, beat butter and sugars until light and fluffy, about two minutes. Slowly beat in vanilla extract and eggs. In a separate bowl, mix flour, baking soda, and salt. Stir in a butter-sugar mixture. Fold in the chocolate chips. Place dough in refrigerator firm up 30 to 35 minutes. Make cookies. Scoop about a tablespoon of of cookie dough and flatten into a flat pancake like circle. Spoon about two teaspoons of the cheesecake filling in the center. Form another tablespoon of a cookie dough into a flat circle and place on the top of the filling. Pinch the edges together to seal. Then roll the fill and roll the filled dough into a ball. Bake cookies for 12 to 15 minutes or until lightly golden. And there you go. Enjoy. Um this looks really, really good. And I'm going to reshare it again. Oh, I have it. And I, I keep going down, but this is like going to make you guys die. That little shitty ass little guy slaps him like a little bait, a little pussy. You know, watch this shit. Hold on. Let me turn my brightness down. <laughs> oh, it cringes me every time. And then he gets teeth out of his mouth. He goes, Was that hard? And this is just nasty. New Jersey brother and sister allowed to marry after a 10 year long court battle. Ew. All right. That'll be it, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. That's all I got for this video, and I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye.